Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to open up another Brothers War Collector Booster Box. So we're on the hunt. Looking for more serialized cards. We're looking for some shattered glass foil. We're looking for a little bit of everything. What do you guys all think about this set? Do you like it? Do we hate it? What are our thoughts? So far, really enjoying it. We got Urza Prince of Krug for the pack foil. I'm going to follow this up with a Tyrant of Kara Ridges and our extended or non foil. We got Urza Chief Artificer for our first Mythic of the box. I'm going to follow this up with a Jolum Tome and our schematic retro foil. Elsewhere Flask and our retro schematic non foil. And Sundering Titan for our double mythic box. Double mythic pack. Jetfire is going to be our Transformer of the pack. And Ashnod Flesh Mechanist is going to be our Extended Art Foil. Alright. Not a horrible pack to start with, but uh, definitely not in a grade A. Alright. We got Teething Wormlet for our pack foil. Gonna follow this up with a Gix's command in the extended art non foil. Scavenge Brawler for our extended art non, non foil. And a Bone Saw in our retro foil. Followed by a Chromatic Star in our retro non foil. Astral Cornucopia in our schematic retro non foil. And starting off hard with a Shattered Glass Flame War non-foil. And we've got an Aetherflux Reservoir and our Schematic Retro foil for our third Mythic of the pack. So Shattered Glass early on. And yeah, and a couple of good cards in here already. I like it. All right, we got Land of War Wastes. Our pack foil. I followed up the Visions of Phyrexia and our extended art non foil. We get the Archimandrite and our extended art non foil. And the Ivory Tower. God, I love this card. We have an Ornithopter and the schematic non foil. And a Keening Stone and the retro non foil. Our our Transformer is going to be Blitzwing in the pack foil version. And we're going to finish this off with a Battle Forge, Battlefield Forge in the Borderless foil. So those shattered, uh, the shattered glass foils, that's, that's hard to pull, huh? Seems like it. We're going to start with the big ball sack for our pack foil. We got Lauren of the Third Path. For our extended art non foil. Got Glint Raker. I see this one a lot. And Elsewhere Flask. And our schematic foil. We're going to go to a Burnished Heart in our retro non foil. And a Keening Stone. Once again, this is going to be in the schematic non foil version. RC is going to be our Transformer of the Peck. And we're going to finish that off. A Phyrexian processor and our retro foil. And that's our fourth mythic of the box. Alright, three, four packs down. And we're upside down. We've got Argoth for our pack foil. Then we're going to follow up with Titania's Command. with a Thopter Shop. God, I love saying that. Thopter Shop. In the Extended Art Non-Foil with a Chromatic Star in the Schematic Retro Foil. Sigil of Valor is our Retro Non-Foil. And Ashnod's Altar. That's a really nice hit. And that's going to be in the Retro Non-Foil. 
gold bug is going to be our transformer. We're going to finish that off with a fauna shaman in the extended art foil. I don't know about you, but every time that I see Goldbug, I always think of Goldberg from like the old WWF, WWE era. Oh, there's another one that's upside down again. Yep. All right, we got Lauren of the Third Path, our pack foil, followed by Urza's Command, and our extended art non foil. We're going to have Sardian Avenger, and our extended art non foil. Followed by liquid metal coating and our retro foil. We have a Mishra's bobble and our retro non foil. Sculpted steel and our schematic retro non foil. Optimus Prime is going to be our pack foil transformer of the pack. And we're going to finish that off with a Gixian puppeteer in the extended art foil. And an upside down token. All right, on to the second half of the box. We're going to start with a Legion of Ashes in our pack foil version. I'm going to follow this up with a root wire amalgam. We have a wire surgeons for our next extended art non foil. Followed by Icor Wellspring for our retro foil. We have a Jolum Tome and our schematic non foil retro and a defense grid for our retro non-foil. Megatron Tyrant is going to be our stock non-foil. We're going to follow it up with a Taunos Solemn Survivor and our extended art foil, and also our second mythic of the pack. Six mythic boxes so far. I guess you could say more if you count the shattered, but we'll stay with six. We're going to get a Simeon Simulacron for our pack foil and a Toskia's Command, Toskia's Welcome for our Extended Art Non-Foil. I'm going to follow this up with a Woodcaller Automaton and a Pristine Talisman in our Retro Schematic Foil. Millstone in our Retro Non-Foil and Sword of the Meek in the schematic retro non-foil. Blitzwing is going to be our transformer of the pack, and we're going to finish that off with a Maze Mind Tome in the retro foil. All right, we got Tesco's Welcome again in the pack foil. I'm going to follow it up with a Giraffna, founder of Lotnam, in the extended art non foil. March of Progress, in our extended art non foil. I'm going to follow this up with a Self Assembler, in the retro schematic foil. Liquid Metal Coating, in our schematic retro non foil. And Quicksilver Amulet, in our retro non foil. Optimus Prime is going to be our regular stock version. We're going to finish it off with a Urza's Command Extended Art Foil. Getting down to the wire. Uh, kind of a middle of the road kind of box. Just as I say that. Just as soon as I say that. We got Gix, Yogmoth, Praetor. Four, our Peck Foil. Which is an amazing hit. That we're going to follow up with a Mishra, a borderless non foil. We have a Root Path Pet Purifier for our second mythic of the box of the pack. Foundry Inspector and our retro non our retro foil. Self Assembler and our retro non foil. Journeyer's Kite and our schematic retro non foil. And our second shattered glass of the box is Slicer. And we're going to finish that one off with a Quicksilver Amulet and the Schematic Retro Foil. Two more packs left. So we got two shattered glass and a 
pretty heavy count on the Mythics. I think we're doing okay. We got Bloom Death Ritualist in our pack foil. I'm going to follow this up with a Trasma Grant's Crown in our extended art non foil. Staff of Titania, great hit in our extended art non foil. I'm going to follow this up with a Burnished Heart in a schematic retro foil version. Leaf Spring Drum in our retro non foil. Astral Cornucopia in our retro non foil. Ratchet is going to be our pack regular version. We're going to follow this up with a Sculpted Steel Schematic Retro Foil. Alright, last pack of the box. Still, I've yet to hit a lot of cards. A lot of, a lot of the good cards in this set. Still got some room, but just saying. Painful Quandary for our pack foil. We're going to follow this up with a Steel Seraph and our extended art non foil. We have Wondrous Crucible and our extended art non foil. And Ornithopter and our retro foil. We have Soul Guide Lantern and our retro non foil. Black Blade Reforged and our schematic retro non foil. I'm going to follow this up with another Ratchet, and this is going to be the pack foil version. And our last card of the pack is going to be Geeks' Command and the Extended Art Foil. And it's been fun. Tell me what you guys think. Like this video if you like it. Dislike it if you disliked it. If you're not subscribed and you want to be, there's a button down below for that. And if you have a comment, you can go ahead and leave it down below. And as usual, I will see you all on the next one.